back to my channel so I am about to run a few errands and I've been forcing myself to get dressed lately if you watch my vlogs then you know that I always got on leggings or biker shorts or sweats and my hair is always in a freaking bun but I don't know we're already like stuck in the house and probably about to be on lockdown again I've literally just I don't know, I've been forcing myself to get dressed, to put on clothes, to put on makeup, to comb my hair, just, just so I can feel a little bit better. Like I'm already stuck in the freaking house all day. I work from home, so I don't really get out much. I just, you know, wanna feel like I'm doing something. And I got another headband wig from my first wig, so it's freaking perfect for days like this where I wanna try to be a little cute, but not like sit here and put on a full old lace front just to go to the post office or the grocery store and come back. Like. This is freaking perfect for me. So this is part of their Zodiac collection. I got it in Leo and it's this really pretty golden like brown color with dark roots which is perfect because my roots are dark. So I'm not a Leo you guys. I'm actually a Cancer but I had the wig that they have for the Cancer sign already so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I got Leo. I am Leo Moon though so it's freaking perfect. I'm a Cancer Rising, Cancer Sun, and Leo Moon. So they have the cute little boxes right here with the different Zodiac signs on it and then and of course, you know, they always come with their little kits that have like the bobby pins and the clips and things like that. And then they sent this cute little headband that has a Leo on it. <sighs> I should have got cancer. Well, now that I think about it, but I responded to the email too freaking late. But I'll take my Leo moon and be happy with this. Um, so yeah, I just washed my hair. It's pretty much dry. Maybe the middle is a little wet. Um, so I'm about to do what I always do when I wear the headband wigs. It just makes it really quick and easy and it's perfect if you don't feel like braiding your hair back and it still provides you with like the security that you need to hold the wig on because if you watch my first video that I did with the headband wigs then you guys know that I did like a slick back ponytail that I seen most people doing. Um, but the wig it was like no it had nothing to grip onto and I felt like if I would have snagged it just a little bit it would have snatched off. So I've been doing my hair like this when I wear um, the headband wigs and it freaking works and it's like a cool little protective style if I want to put like some leave-in or something in my hair when I braid it up. But yeah, I just do... Um, what is this four braids that's what i've been doing recently like one on each side one kind of in the center in the middle and then i just put everything in the back in one so that's what i'm about to do right now just braid it up really quick like these wigs are really so freaking convenient like who would have thought taking a freaking half wig and just literally adding a little headband to it it could make such a world of a difference so the braids don't have to be perfect, y'all. If y'all like, that look crazy. Like, it's literally just to create little anchors um, for the combs to hook into so they don't slide back. And it just helps to keep the hair flat. And now we look all kinds of crazy. And then I'm just going to pin everything up and back. And then once I have everything pinned up, I just have it like this in the back, nice and flat. Super simple, quick, easy, just hair out the way. That's basically all you want. And then I like to use a black stocking cap with these just because it acts like it's my hair. And I feel like if you put a light one on under here, if it peeks through, you definitely want to see it. For those of you who don't know what it looks like, this is it. It has the little Velcro and things on the side. And then it's just a regular cap construction without the lace in the inside it has the comb right here the two on the sides and then the one in the middle with the adjustable straps
Okay, so going in with this water in my lovely bees, leave it be leaving. I wanted to have some hold. to make a curly like blonde unit and they keep telling me that it can't be done because the hair will mess up but I feel like it can be done like look at the curls on this one and this is bleached kind of a lot I, f I feel like it could be done and I kind of feel like I want to try it on this unit but I don't want to destroy it so comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see me try to lighten this just a little bit to get more of like a blonde color I just really want a blonde curly wig you guys and they never come this tight the curls never come this small and i think it will be so pretty um but yeah so comment down below and let me know if you want to see me try to bleach this and see if it like keeps its curl okay love so this is the outfit so i got these cute mom jeans from a place called cotton on they're online and they have an instagram but i know it's a store out here it's at the santa monica promenade they also have a few in like random malls but they have like really cute basics in there so i got these and i went up a size i got them in a size six um and then i got this just a regular t-shirt from zara just a blank white t-shirt i love just having just random t-shirts like this because you can just pair them with anything dress them up dress them down put them on with sweat sleep in them could do whatever and then I got these boots these are from my last she in haul you guys these are the ones that I was struggling to get on and off so I figured out that when I like the more that I wear them the more that I put them on the easier they are to get on and off because they don't have a zipper so I told you guys that my foot was like stuck um but they are starting to loosen up a bit and they slide out better when I have on socks 
And then I got this cute little, I don't know, is this a duster or is this like a trench coat? I got this from Boohoo. Super cute, super affordable. This is what it looks like. And then I got this cute little bag, which matches these boots almost perfectly. I got this from Shoe Dazzle a while back. I think it's still on their website, but I'll leave everything down below if I can find links and stuff for you guys. So yeah, it's still super basic, literally just a white t-shirt and some jeans and then I threw on boots in this jacket and called it a day. But if I took off these boots and this jacket, it would be such a basic outfit, you guys. Like so simple, so basic and I just have to keep telling myself that I can do little stuff like this. Like I don't have to just keep reaching for my sweats and my leggings and my big t-shirts although I can do a big t-shirt like this and still make it a little bit cute I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one